Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning into the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly a Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. This is really just a quick PSA because. Apparently, common decency and common sense aren't something that everyone has. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people, like, see you online, they feel like they know you, they identify with you, and all that fun stuff. That's all great and dandy, but when you start being weird and, like, being overly personal with people that you don't know, that's not cool, okay? So, for those who don't know, me and my brother are, like, really tight. And, like, I'm really big on family. Like, me personally, the people I call family are people that are not biologically related to me and people that are biologically related to me. But those people that I fuck with, like, I fuck with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my family is my family. And, like, I take my family, like, very serious. I'm real sensitive when it comes to my family. Like, sensitive, ignorant, whatever you want to call it. My family is everything for me. Um, I know a lot of people identify with that. So... When I say this, I mean this in the most sincere and genuine and not trying to be an asshole way possible. But if you know somebody through somebody and they don't know you directly, don't walk up to them on some, hey, you're so-and-so, so-and-so. Like, that's weird. Like, that's real weird. And I didn't realize that this was something that would bother me until it happened. But... If you see me post a picture of my niece or my best friend or, like, a person I'm dating or whatever the case is, don't walk up to them as somebody who knows me on some, oh, you're Janae's, da 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 oh, you know, pointless. That's weird. Even, like, you know so-and-so is, like, eh. But going down the list of, like, how they know you or, like, how you're related to the person that they know, that's kind of weird, like, if I make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's say me and Twin are just like friends we are not doing this podcast together we're just friends and someone who i'm friends with like let's say someone i went to high school with sees twin all over my instagram seen her on facebook seen her in my snapchat whatever whatever i post about her and walk up to her and be like oh hey twin you're 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 twin twin you're like you're janae's twin you're you're dumb sugar you're whatever and call her by her first name like yo hey cat whatever like Cat don't know you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dem sugar don't know you. Twin don't know you. Don't walk up to twin and be like, oh, hey, twin, you're Janae's friend. Like, that's that's, that's kind of weird, first of all. And then it kind of, like, gives you, like, a weird vibe. Like, some people might be okay with it, but I know the people that I fuck with ain't fucking friendly. So don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you want to get your feelings hurt or, like, whatever, just don't do that. And then don't come tell me that you did that shit because I'm going to have to stop myself from cussing you out. If it's a repeat thing, like actually no, if it's a repeat thing, I'm cussing you out off off rip. That's weird. Don't fucking do that shit. Like, the fuck? Like that shit happened today, and like I legit text the person that it happened to, and like, before they could even text me, be like, yo, I'm so sorry, like so sorry, and they responded like literally. I text, I said sorry about that, like with the hand slap face thing or whatever, and their response was who the fuck. And I'm like, yo, I don't know, like, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> that's why I hit you up first, I'm sorry, my bad, and, like, they gave me a thumbs up, and I was like, okay, I got it, but still, that's weird, like, alright, friendly, like, you know what I'm saying, like, not everybody receives shit like that positively, and unless you know somebody, which obviously you don't, don't walk up to them on some, hey, I know who you are, shit, like, this is a weird fucking stage we live in right now, like, we're, like, in a weird-ass fucking, like, environment, like, the climate is fucking weird, like, people are weird, you know what I'm saying, don't, just walk up to people you don't know, with information about them that not every random person is going to know like that's weird it's kind of like violating personal space in like a mental way like it's not a physical space violation but you get what i'm saying like if i'm making sense i'm rambling right now because <laughs> like it really annoyed me because i'm thinking about it like if somebody walks up to me and was like hey your cat's best friend i'm like who the fuck are you bitch i don't fucking know you get the fuck out of my face like don't come walk up to me and ask them, oh, you're Janae, your cat's friend. Like, okay, and you are? Like, the fuck am I supposed to do with this information? I know who I am. Who the fuck are you? Like, weirdo? Like, why are you going around just talking to people that you don't fucking know on some friendly, like, I know you shit? No, you don't, bro. Like, no. <laughs> and it's not even like people have, like, the person has a common name. So it's not even like it's somebody that would be like oh yeah okay you see my name or whatever but like dog you know my sister like you know my cousin you know my aunt you know my like don't do that don't do that to people that makes people feel uncomfortable like the person that texts them and they're like really like disturbed by it 
You know what I'm saying? Like, don't <laughs> do not do that. And that's one of those things where I've always felt weird about, like, people putting their kids' names on their book bags or, like, clothes or, like, stuff like that. Because random people will come up to you and act like they know you when they don't because they know your name. That's the same thing I feel about, like, nameplates. Like, I've wanted a nameplate for the longest, like, a necklace with my name on it for as long as I can remember. But I refuse to get one. I have a bracelet that has my name on it, but I don't ever wear it. Because I'm so personally, like, paranoid about that. Like, some weirdo is going to be like, oh, hey, Janae, how are you? And be like, okay, and you are? It's like, oh, you remember? The-? And somebody can make up a story, and my memory sucks. I'm going to be sitting there like, oh, all right, then um, keep hope alive, bro. <laughs> like, keep walking, because, like, that's just weird. Like, don't, don't do that. Unless, the only way I'm okay with that shit is if, like, which has happened before. Someone will text me and be like, oh, I see your sister out at da da da, and I'm like, oh okay, um, all right, <laughs> like what am I supposed to do with that information? Or I'll text you, be like, oh, so and so said they saw you, all right, bet. But don't then take it upon yourself to walk up to that person and be like, hey, I'm like, why the fuck are you introducing yourself to people that don't fucking know you? That really and truly have no reason to know you. My people don't need to know everybody that I know. Like, not everybody I know knows each other, so. That's really unnecessary. Like, why you nuff? Dead ass though. Like, why you fucking nuff? <laughs> you just want to be in things? You know? Like, I I don't know. That's just me. Maybe it's just the asshole in me. Maybe it's, you know, like, certain things just don't sit well with me. Like, no. And another thing with the whole name tag, like, whatever I was saying, I always hate, like, when I work retail, where my name tag is part of my uniform, so I do it. But I hate that because people do be walking up to you like, hey, Janae. Or, like, try to read my name tag. I'm like, what's your name say? And I'm like, you dumb bitch. It's five fucking letters. And it's not spelled fancy like some of these other, like, <laughs> spellings of Janae. It's simple as fuck. And they'll see me outside of work. And be like, hey, Janae. I'm like, bitch. I've actually cussed at someone. I'm like, I don't fucking know you. Like, don't talk to me. You know me at, at work, at my employment. Like, you don't know me. Don't fucking talk to me out on the street. Get the fuck out of here. Dog, that's weird. Like, that's weird. People are creepy. So just to avoid people being uncomfortable and you getting your feelings hurt, don't just walk up on people you don't personally know, despite how you know them. Like, if you fucking follow their mother's blog or whatever the fucking case is, don't just walk up on them on some, like, hey, you're so-and-so's daughter, like, with their fucking life story. Like, hi, I'm Ashley. You're so-and-so's daughter. I know that you like blue and your favorite animal is a monkey. Okay, what are they, honestly, honestly, what is somebody supposed to do with that information? Hmm? Please let me know. Anyways, I'm just letting y'all know. 420 <laughs> is this weekend. Y'all make sure y'all come out to Miramar. We doing a backyard fish fry. If y'all see people at the fucking fish fry and y'all exchange information and y'all talk, okay, cool, bet. Talk, link up, whatever, that's between y'all. But don't just run up on people in a general setting. If y'all at a party or like, it's my birthday and my brother is there, that makes sense. But not at this nigga's fucking like baby shower. Actually, not even. That's actually appropriate too, because why would you be there? But you see this nigga in the mall <laughs> and you're like, hey, like, no bitch, no bitch. But yeah, come to the fish fry. I'll get you drunk enough to be friendly. And yeah. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to come and drop this because that shit, that shit bothered me. Like, it really fucking bothered me. Y'all probably out here like, bitch, you press? Yes, the fuck I am. Because I take my family and my friends, like, real fucking serious. And I don't want my people to be uncomfortable because of somebody that I know not respecting their personal space. So, on behalf of me, I'm saying I'm sorry to whoever this has ever happened to that, you know, someone I know came up to you because you know me and you wasn't really too like fond of the encounter or whatever my bad you know what i'm saying not everybody was raised the same i can understand that some people are way more friendly than others that's not my fault that's not their fault but just chill man time and place for everything don't walk up to people like on the side of the street on some like i know your life story all right so anyways like i said backyard fish frights in miramar find me on instagram um pointless talks if you want details y'all can place your orders ahead of time also if you want to you can call you can text it in the menu is up online also they have all the things that jamaican fish fries be having you know fish chicken oxtail <laughs> so it says fish fry but there's literally like curry chicken and fried chicken jerk chicken steam fish fry fish all of that the festival sell off and it's from 2 p.m. this time, not from noon. It's from 2 p.m. till whenever it's done. It says 11 o'clock, but if y'all still popping after 11, 
you know, we there. <laughs> um, make sure you check out Portland Talks and all the other Fly of Fear Nation podcasts. We are on all of the social media things, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And of course, we're on all the streaming platforms, Spotify, TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud. Y'all gonna kill me about this YouTube, but YouTube <laughs> and Google Play Music. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars. Don't make my bad mouth um, portray, you know, anything about the show. I have my my days and things and such, but whatever. Um, Give us five stars. Keep in a bad mind feelings, them to in itself. If you don't feel bad about what Melissa said, then sorry, but not sorry, because people are entitled to their personal space. Like, if you don't agree with that, then you can go suck your mama and go on boy business. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. <laughs>